Following Talzan's death, Dooku and his new right-hand man, Quinlan Voss, launched a renewed military campaign against the Republic. Voss quickly gained the moniker, Admiral Enigma, among the Republic media. After receiving intelligence from Admiral Wolf Ularan that Dooku was planning to attack the planet Taris, the Jedi Council hatched a mission to rescue Quinlan Voss. With the help of Ventress, Kenobi and his former apprentice Anakin Skywalker infiltrated Dooku's Providence-class dreadnought and made their way to the bridge, hoping to encounter Admiral Enigma. Instead, they encountered Dooku. While Skywalker dueled with Dooku, Ventress and Kenobi managed to rescue Voss from his cell. However, Voss and Dooku had anticipated the rescue and arranged for Voss to appear in an emaciated state. While Ventress sensed that Voss had turned to the dark side, his Jedi colleagues eagerly welcomed Voss home. Quinlan Voss's rescue gave Count Dooku a high-level spy within the Jedi Order. Using his high-place position within the Jedi hierarchy, Voss leaked intelligence on two Republic operations to Dooku. This allowed the Separatists to sabotage an asteroid supplies warehouse and to evacuate a listening post on Bancor prior to a Republic attack. After discerning that Voss had turned to the dark side, the Jedi Council sent Voss on a mission to kill Dooku. With the help of Ventress, Voss and the Jedi learned that Dooku's dreadnought was last sighted above the crystal-covered planet of Christophsis. Voss managed to infiltrate Dooku's dreadnought and engaged the Sith Lord in a lightsaber duel. Despite besting Dooku, Voss refused to kill him and instead demanded that Dooku lead him to Darth Sidious. Unknown to both Dooku and Voss, they had been tailed by Kenobi and Skywalker. The two Jedi Knights promptly arrested Dooku and his apprentice and transported them to the Venator-class Star Destroyer Vigilance as prisoners. While being marched to the Vigilance's brig, Voss managed to free Dooku, who in turn freed Voss. After killing the Jedi Knights of Kardashu and Cav Bayans and two dozen clone troopers, the two Darksiders escaped the Vigilance aboard Ventress's ship Banshee. Ventress attempted to fly them back to Dooku's dreadnought but they were shot down by the Vigilance and crash-landed on Christophsis. Dooku and his fellow travelers survived the crash but the Count sustained a serious injury since he had not been properly strapped in. After navigating through Christophsis's crystal-covered landscape, they managed to reach a local separatist base that was built into a giant crystal tower. Upon arriving, Dooku was informed that Darth Sidious was seeking an audience with him. During a brief hologram conversation, Dooku requested help from his master to get off-world. Shortly later, Kenobi and Skywalker launched a full-scale assault on the Separatist base. Together, Dooku and his opponents made their way into an outlying crystal sanctum. On the way, Dooku was struck by a blaster blast and was knocked unconscious. While Ventress wanted to let him die, Voss insisted on keeping him alive. While Voss assisted the battle droids in the defense of the base, Ventress moved Dooku into the Crystal Sanctum. After stirring, Dooku taunted Ventress by deriding her as a Grant, and claiming that Voss had much potential as a Sith Lord. Ventress responded that Voss had bigger plans for Dooku. When Voss entered the Sanctum, Ventress confronted him about his decision to join Dooku and the Dark Side. While Ventress and Voss were preoccupied, Dooku took the opportunity to attack his former pupils with Force Lightning. He wanted to kill Voss, but ended up striking Ventress, who pushed Voss out of the way. Though Quinlan managed to stop Dooku, Ventress was mortally wounded. Dooku then attempted to goad Voss into killing him, but realizing that the act of murder led to the dark side, Voss refused and reaffirmed his Jedi identity. While Voss comforted his dying lover, Dooku took the opportunity to rendezvous with Sidious's starship and fled off-world upon being rescued by Grievous. Despite failing to kill Dooku, Voss was pardoned by the Jedi Council after he rejected the dark side and continued serving the Jedi war effort.